Hey everyone, this is Farmer Henry here at the Treehouse Urban Farm. And today Berga and I are harvesting sweet potatoes and then we're making beds and sowing turnips, parsley, uh, celery, and lettuce today. So I just wanted to show you how I'm digging up sweet potatoes. So let's dive into the dirt. So here's what's left of my sweet potato field and sunflowers. You can see there's sunflowers here and I also have some Jerusalem artichoke that is a sunflower that creates a type of tuber, like a potato kind of. So I'm just systematically digging through this dirt because the sweet potatoes are in the beds, but I'm also finding them in the paths. So I don't want to miss any of them. And I'm just digging as I form the beds. I'm also looking for potatoes. So I'm digging trenches in between the paths to make the beds raised. And Bergen is forming the beds with the rake. We have pumpkins in this field as well. So I'll just show you how I work around the different plants in this field and dig for sweet potatoes. I dig with my pitchfork here because the potatoes will sometimes end up in between, whereas a shovel will just cut right through the sweet potatoes. So the pitchfork is much gentler on the sweet potatoes. Here we have purple sweet potatoes. As you can see, they're purple on the inside. Right now they have a little sap coming out, but that won't happen when we cure them. Here's what happens when you cut through a sweet potato with the pitchfork. It doesn't cut all the way through, which I really like. And if the potato is skinny enough, it barely injures it. And we got some big ones in here. Very purple, very beautiful. So this is how I dig up sweet potatoes really quickly and efficiently. It's kind of a workout, but that's why I like hand farming because you get fit while you're doing it. So I dig down. I try to dig more down than sideways because you're more likely to not hit the potato if you dig down. See, and there's a potato right there. We got a little one just in the first shovel full. Throw that in the bucket and I'm just digging like a trench. We found a brick. And there's a potato, beautiful purple sweet potato. Damaged that one a little bit, but it's still great for us to eat. Three points. See, there's another one. Now look at this. I'll also look out for any of these kind of red or orange vines. And this is an indication that it could be connected to a sweet potato. So I will then dig into the bed the same way. Just systematically getting closer. And there we go, we found Found a little potato. And the soil's pretty loose, so I can dig around here. And you see, here's another little root. So that gives me an indication that there may be more potatoes going in this direction. 
So it's kind of like you're looking for clues of where the potatoes are hiding. Yeah, and we found it. There's the purple sweet potato. So you see how I was, I found that and I traced this back to the potato. So there's some tips, look for these little roots to trace back to the potatoes. And you can trace the vines back into the ground as well. And that's a good way to find the potatoes. But I just dig up the whole field just keep on digging because they're pretty much everywhere you gotta keep a straight back we harvest purple sweet potatoes thanks for joining us guys I highly recommend using a pitchfork as they're much gentler on a sweet potato and systematically digging up your gardens so you don't miss any sweet potatoes now we'll show you our harvest that's a big one <laughs> 